Hello everybody, I am the Quad Professor. Today we're going to take a quick look at software for designing your own box. I know we talked about a couple of them in the previous installment, so I thought we'd take a really quick look at them. The first one is Subbox Pro. This is completely online. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to actually sign up for anything. The only thing to note is that this is Russian software in its origin. That might bother some people. It doesn't bother me at all. So this is one of them. The other one is the Torres Tuning Calculator, and that is a program you do have to download. I actually got the download off of Steed Mead Designs. Very good website. I highly recommend it. It has quite a bit of information on it. So if you get a chance, get on there, check it out. It's definitely worth your time. And what it looks like after you've installed it is this so it's it's very basic but it has some features that Subbox Pro doesn't have which we'll cover so first thing get your software that you're going to design with second thing you got to choose your speaker so I think for this example we'll use the Sundown Audio Classic 12 it's very similar to the old-school Rockford Fosgate Punch in its design and function it's actually a little bit better if we're honest the price range is very affordable so we're going to use that for our example so if we go back to the box calculator we'll go in and it, it gives you this sort of generic drawing to start with and one thing to note before we get into it too far is it does have pre-made pre-designed boxes at the bottom but these are just made by random people so don't do those. You want to go in and enter the information yourself so you know it's correct. So we know we're going to put two subwoofers. They are going to be 12 inch and you can see the cutout diameter is 11.22 standard. We're not going to adjust that and a lot of the information that we're going to use we can actually get off of the down for sound site because they do a good job of listing everything that you need at the bottom. It has your tuning, it has your cubic feet, it has your displacement, the depth, cutout diameter, everything. So it's pretty nice. So your cutout diameter that you need is at least 11.125. This is 11.22. That's perfectly acceptable. It'll give you a little bit of wiggle room if you're cutting it out yourself and you don't cut it perfect. So we're going to stick with that. The mounting depth was 6.5. Woofer displacement was 0.14. Let's see, distance between subwoofers, we're going to go 3, and offset is going to be negative 4. And then we'll tell it to calculate, and it'll look really crazy, because it's just going to attach your speaker like you told it to, to the box that it's already designed. So, don't panic. Let's go in and modify the port. So we're going to go with a slot on the front panel. Port area was 26. And again, that was here. And then tuning frequency, I'm going to go 34. I know it recommended 35, but I'd rather push it just a hair below. And then we'll look at our box. So we know how much room we have to work with. So if we put in 38 width, and we'll go 14 and a half high. Our net internal volume was 3.5, and our material thickness is 0.75. Tell it to calculate. So this is what it's given us. So it's kind of nice, you can see it. Uh, you can see how it's laid out. You can still modify it, so we will move the subwoofers over. So let's go, I don't know, three from center. It'll move them both over, and we'll go four between them, so it'll separate them a little bit more. And see, we've moved it over, and we've separated the speakers a little. Uh, some of the limitations of this software you can't actually add baffles. You can't add a additional faceplate baffle and you can't add any bracing to it. So it doesn't have any way to do that. 
so that's that's a huge limitation it does give you some of your dimensions and it also gives you your overall box plan but it does not give you a cut sheet layout so you're gonna have to figure that out on your own looking back at the Torres so again we're gonna go 14 uh, 3820 the height of the port you're taking the thickness of the material from the top and the bottom away so it's 13 we'll go two inches wide uh, we are going to add an extra baffle on the front because I like those. The woofer displacement, there are two of them. So remember it was 0.14, so we need to go 0.28. And we do want bracing in there, but I haven't got a design for the bracing. So for right now, we're just going to leave it off. We're not going to have any external port. That's kind of an old school thing. And then you can see with just this port dimension, this is our tuning, we want to bring that down. So let's put 10 in there. We do not want to print. And that puts us at 33. Um, that's a pretty good spot to be. You can see it gives you a lot of the information. Very similar. Again, doesn't really give you a good cut sheet, but couple of things you can do on this that you can't do on sub box you can add a baffle you can add bracing so this is just the displacement for the bracing but it's still very nice you're gonna want that especially if you're putting any power to it and the other thing you can do is you can make it into a wedge box so let's say we go 16 on the top and 22 in the bottom what it'll actually do is it'll give you an angled side now and when we've done that, we've altered our, our actual internal volume. So it gives you your gross volume here and then your net. So what we would do if we wanted to tune it is we would go in and change the port. The other thing that you can do is actually just keep changing your dimensions until your internal volume is what you want it to be. So it's got some limitations. Still, this is a really good program. Um, and you can also enter in here your desired net volume, which we wanted 3.5. So you can have that in there that, so that you're trying to figure it out. Um, it's a good program. Take a screenshot of it, you can print it. Let's say that looking at the software, you come away from it saying, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. So another option that you can do is you can get a, a layout from Sundown. So Sundown on their site, so this is the same subwoofer at the bottom. You can go in and it has enclosure specifications, which is useful. And you can see you can select the size, but it also has designs. You know that this box design is going to be perfect for what you want to do. It's made for that speaker. So that's, that's pretty nice. It also has a layout, a cut sheet layout on, on your, your material, which is nice. The only limitation of this is that it is one dimension. So if this doesn't fit in your space, you kind of have to start over, but if it fits in your space, this is an excellent option if you want to build your own box. Let's say at this point you're still, I don't think I want to even do that. You can buy a flat pack. Now, right now on the Down for Sound site, there isn't a 212, but this will give you an idea. You can get something like this. It's not that expensive. It comes flat. You got to actually screw it together, but it's already cut out, which is kind of the hard part. Um, they do have a lot of information about the box, details about it if you go into it. So it's it's just kind of nice. It's a good option if you don't want to build your box, but you don't want to pay a lot for a box. This is not bad. Let's say you're still like, eh, you've changed my mind. I don't want to do it at all. You can always go this route. So this is a fully loaded Profab, has the same speakers in it, 
And again, remember those two speakers were about $500. So here you are, $200 more, you have a complete built box. This is an excellent option if you're not wanting to tune the box or change the shape. If, if you just need a standard shape, this is a really, really good option. And you can see it fits perfectly into our footprint. The tuning's good. I mean, this is a really good option. It might be better than the other two. If you want to build your box, there is software available. If you maybe changed your mind, you can get a fully loaded box for about the same price as the speakers and the materials. Because remember, you have wiring, you have the speakers, you have screws, you have the terminal cup. So there's a lot of parts beyond the speakers itself. So this is a very affordable option. And that's if you want to do your own box. Do it. Don't let anybody stop you. Until next time, I am the Quad Professor, and I am out of here.